Hey, what's up guys? It's Sladen. I thought I would do a video today about how to recolor or edit a sprite. And if you get a sprite that uh, looks kind of weird or has some kind of weird detail, strange coloration that you know isn't right or doesn't look like what you want to do, how you'd go about changing it using GIMP. So here I've got a Magmar. I was making Pokemon sprites and I wanted to do Magmar and I ran across the sprite and as I started you know, getting my supplies out, I started looking and I went, whoa, what is this? Why are there these weird black and gray s spots on his back? Why are there holes in his claw? Uh, Gimp uses this black and gray checkerboard for its background, so there's literally no color here. It's just the background. Why is there this white spot where it looks like there's a gap between his arm, his, le or his leg, and his tail? Why is that there? So, hmm, I'm not really going to be happy with this sprite. Um, if I do it the way this is, so I think I'm going to do some editing. So I've already got this set up like I uh, normally do sprites. So there's a couple tools that uh, programs like this have. One is this color selector. So you can basically select any color, and it selects every color on the entire project that is the same color. So you know you got your dark orange, your orange, your black, and it basically selects that color and um, isolates that color so you can work with just that color. So there's also the eyedropper, which is just like any thing like paint or anything you click on it it selects your color pretty obvious and then your paintbrush so what we're gonna do is first of all I'm gonna color the background a different color so it's easy to see uh, lines because it's kind of confusing like this gray is very close to this it's hard to see there so I'm gonna select the entire background it basically outlines it but it's selecting the entire background then I'm gonna go to the paintbrush and click on this to bring up the color selector I'm gonna pick a blue color there's no blue on here so I'll pick a deep blue Okay, then I'm going to take my brush, uh, make it a nice big brush, and then basically color in this whole background. You see how it's not painting over my uh, magmar itself? That's because it's only selecting the background. So it cannot color over any other color. And you see it colored over that part because there was those holes in there, and a hole there. So I think everything's there. Yeah. So everything is blue now that was considered background. So now we're actually going to work on doing the sprite itself. So let's take this color selector, and uh, the first thing that really pops out to me is these holes in his fingers. So uh, let's select the blue, so now it's still selecting the entire background. Now, how about we take our dropper and pick this white color that the claws are. So we got white in there, pick our brush, and make the brush a little smaller, it doesn't need to be as massive as it was. That's one cell, it can be a little bigger than that. That's good enough. Okay, and then just color that in. See how that brought the claw right out there? Very easy, no problem whatsoever. And there's a little bit one right there, so I'll color that in. All right, so now I fixed the claw. See how long that took? Not very long at all. So then let's fix this hole. So select that. That's going to select everything. So uh, what I want to do is pick that blue again. So I'll take my dropper, pick the blue that I used, and then just color that straight in. All right, now see how that made it look like his uh, arm is there and there's the gap right there and it, it looks perfectly fine. So uh, stuff like that, just very basic. Um, do some editing over here for maybe I'm going to select this color, get this black and white out of here, so or black and gray, gray rather. Select the black, got my dark dark red, and just start coloring it in. And like, a, like I said, it won't color over your other colors that are... Uh, different colors that are nearby it will color over stuff um, of the same color that's nearby so you want to be careful like down here is not going to be red so I don't want to get too close to that you can adjust your brush size right now I got it like that um, you can make it a little bit bigger really huge there it's it's so big it goes off the screen let's make it a little bigger or a little smaller like that all the way down to just one cell for when you're trying to do like if you wanted to do this part one color but not this part then you could drop it to one cell and of course, uh, like a lot of programs, you just if you mess up, you know, I get crazy with my brush, ah, then you just push Control Z on your keyboard, that's your undo key, and it just goes right away. And you can do that many steps back if you, you know, color something in uh, wrong multiple times or whatever, you can just keep pressing Control Z to go back. So same thing with uh, any of these parts, you just slowly go through it, edit out where you think stuff looks weird. Um, I'm going to do some yellow shading up here. This random black that's here in the leg, I'm going to take this brown that it uses everywhere else and shade in that because there's no, no real point in having that black there. It just looks weird. It's kind of strange to your eye. And uh, 
basically go over the whole sprite doing that. I'm not going to wa make you watch me do the whole thing right here because I already have it done. Right over here. Here's the original again. With all the strange things in it. And there's my edit. So you can see I took the entire back, made it all consistently colored the same. Uh, the foot was like weird and shattered looking. I made it look more normal and regular. Same thing over here. And I fixed the claws. You can't really see it in here, but uh, I fixed the claws for when you're looking at it in GIMP. And I fixed the flame up here. So that's how you would go about editing a sprite if you're not really happy with the way it looks. Uh, it just looks awkward or you know it doesn't look like, you know, you know what the game is. You know how the sprite is supposed to look from the game and it doesn't look like it. Uh, you don't want it. You don't want to place beads and then have it, you know, blown up when you make your your actual project and be like, oh, that looks that looks weird. So that's how I did it. Uh, it's very simple. And here's my final project done in actual beads. And I was really happy with it. I know I wouldn't have been happy with it with the black in it and all the weird gaps. So I'm really happy with it. And that's how you do it. Very simple. Thanks, guys.